called to be present and to give back in the community that God has us in. And it was clear to us that, that we wanted to press go on a food truck in Indy right away. We're doing a poblano and chicken empanada. Um, and we're trying poblanos. Give some smoky flavor to cook them and make them tender and then we'll chop them up and put them in the film. There's skin on the outside of the poblano. So that part you don't want. So the fire basically, you see all the blistering, it blisters the skin. They're not burnt. They might look like it, but they're not. We take great pride in, in the food that we offer and the food that we serve. And our chef does an incredible job of, of not just doing it herself, but also bringing along uh, team members to help be a part of, of the cooking process. And that's one thing we wanted to do. We didn't want to just serve food and count numbers. We wanted to serve really good food. If I have the time, and um, the ability, I will make it as fresh as possible and as good as possible. Because I think even if the person doesn't know and doesn't have that expectation, I have that expectation. We got some free empanadas today. You can join us? All right. You head right to the window, that young lady will take care of you. Come on. Come join us. There we go. Oh, she's banging a Yui right there. We have chorizo and cheese empanadas, chicken poblano empanada. Both of them are great options. You can get one of each. I feel like that. I feel like that's the best way to go. You know what I mean? We got two, two chorizos all day. Please and thank you. Oh man, that looks good. Can I eat it? For us to be able to just show up whenever and wherever with our food truck and and distribute food is super unique to, to a city like this. And it's one some of our favorite events are when we just by word of mouth or throw it on social media, on Instagram. We never fully know what to expect, um, but we always leave seeing lives changed and being changed ourselves. This house is magnificent. This food is amazing. This is honestly the best street food I've had in a very long time. I would 10 out of 10 recommend this. Between me and him, it's good. Somebody got to roll me down the hill. Free food always tastes better. Oh yeah. Free food <laughs> always tastes better. It's the best of the best. I'm going to tell my friends to come and get some, they tell me. I want some more, I just, oh wait, I can't, I, I'm lost for work. I thought it was a nice cream truck. We were just walking around the block and we saw the sign, so we just started talking to him and he said we could get a free meal, so we just walked in. Good for us people like uh, myself, I'm, you know, I like kind of homeless act. It looked expensive, so I was like, we got to keep walking. <laughs> but yeah. it's free, so it's really good. I'm a disabled veteran now. I just cook for myself, but I do have chef training, and I know good food when I smell it and see it. God know what we needed, like, and this was came right on time. One of my favorite things about the food truck is the faces um, that show up to the truck. It's, it's anybody and everybody. When we show up, we don't want people to feel like they don't deserve the meal, and so we definitely go in, in places and areas that you can tell it's a physical need, and it's a big physical blessing and a burden that's lifted off of some of these people that show up. But there's also plenty of people that are just out for a walk or out with their family, and, and it's a unique experience. And that's one thing that, that we want everybody to feel welcome, and we want everyone to feel loved and seen and, and to leave uh, spiritually different as well and that's ultimately the goal and the reason why we do what we do. I also want to give you this thank you card. This has all our information on it so thank you for being here today. Without you we wouldn't be here. While you're waiting we also have some books available to you. We offer different resources. We also have team members out there that are talking with people and are, are welcome to, to pray with people but obviously you can't talk with every single person that comes up and so uh, we just believe in, in our ability to just plant seeds and we just truly believe that, that God will uh, take care of that seed that we're just trying to plant and just be a part of it.